Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to hide and show different elements in HTML using jQuery. Now, what jQuery specifically is, is a JavaScript library, and that allows you to access certain features that would otherwise leave the programmer to code all by himself. So, let's take a look at what I currently have open in Komodo. I have just a simple HTML file, and you can see here that it's got a title, and we have a link to our style sheet. Then down in our body section we just have a divider or a div with the class of button outside and then we just have our button. Now these classes here are linking to our style.css and I've just added some um, nice CSS3 styling that will be available in the source code. So let's take a look here at our browser preview and we can see we have a nice little uh, button that I modeled after the YouTube button when you click on it it has some nice animations but it doesn't actually do anything right now that's what we're, what we're going to focus on in this tutorial so this can actually be any button that we'd like just as long as it functions and is on screen and is clickable so the first thing in jQuery that we have to do is add our reference to the um, JavaScript file so right here under the head I'm gonna add this um, script source and it's basically just going to take that script and allow us to use the jQuery functions so I'll paste this in the description and um, that way it can easily be copied and pasted into any HTML document this you can see here will grab the latest jQuery document um, from jQuery.com so you, you don't have to worry about um, the validity of it, it it'll be just fine okay so that won't actually alter our HTML document anyway what we have to do now is code the way in which things happen so let's start by creating our form that's going to be shown when this button is clicked so what we're going to do is create a div we're going to give it an ID of, let's call it sign up form. And we'll close that off. And right in here we'll add a form with an action of nothing. So it'll just go to the same page. And we'll add a break here just to give us a new line. Let's put down a label. This will be for. We're going to create something called name, so we'll just have this label here. Alright, that'll be our label. And then right here we'll have an input type of text. And then, sorry, and then the ID of name, just as we had above here in our label. And then we'll go ahead and close that off. Now let's add a new line. And what we can do is we can copy what we created above and paste that right in here. And instead this will be email. It'll just be a simple email form and change that. And then there we are. So now when we view this, we should see a form right underneath our button. So this is what we wanted. But what we want to have happen is this be invisible and then when the button is clicked this is then shown so let's go to our style.css and right here underneath everything we're going to create a sign up form and it's going to select sign up form and we're going to set it to display equal to none let's fix the formatting of this real quick and we'll go ahead and save that now when we view this, we'll see that our form is not shown, but our button is still here. So what jQuery is going to allow us to do is change that display based on when an action happens. So what we have to do currently is write a script that will allow us to interact with this button. So let's create a script up here, right underneath our button, and it'll be type of text JavaScript and let's create some space here now we'll do a dollar sign 
then we'll open our quotations and we'll do button and button refers to our class that we have up here and um, that can be any element and then when that is clicked it's going to call a function and then this is just like in JavaScript we're going to have an if statement and what this if statement will do is see if the um, form is already visible so dollar sign again because we're, we're then selecting our element and we're going to do sign up form and um, after that we'll have an is and then we'll have another set of parentheses and quotations of colon hidden then we'll add a little space there for um, reasons that allow us to look at the code easier. And we'll say that we'll select our sign up form again. And what we're going to do is call the fade in method. And this will fade in our, um, our element nice and easily. You can also send it some parameters telling it how fast you'd like it to fade in, but we'll just leave it as default for now. But if this if statement is false and that is displayed currently, we want it to fade out. So it's going to be just like this code above. In fact, I'll go ahead and paste it here. Instead, we just want it to fade out. And there we go. And we'll just add a semicolon right there. And now let's go ahead and preview this. So now when we click this button, we'll see that our form is nice and displayed and we can type some text into it. And you can have buttons down here that submit the form and whatnot. And then when you click to show again, it's going to go away with the form. So you can click this all day and it'll still work. So that's how you show and hide elements using jQuery, and I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.